I mean, we started that game horribly. I mean, my team wasn't recognizable in that first half. I mean, we just kind of did so many things that were not reminiscent or familiar of who we are. And when that happens, I mean, of course, you have games like that. You expect it to happen maybe for a quarter or a few minutes, but for it to happen a whole half and then half of a quarter, you kind of do a whole lot of things, substitution, changing plays, changing personnel, and just kind of putting people in position to kind of do what they do individually to kind of give us a spark. And Kylie did an awesome job of just kind of stepping up and just doing what she does, especially for a first year player. I mean, we expect so much of our first year kids, but you know, Kylie was above and beyond that today. And without the effort that she had today, that she continued to push and push and put pressure on ODU. I don't think that we get back in that game. I think that our team, or I know, kind of strived off of the in energy and just the hard work and the grit that she showed today. And it gave us an opportunity to get back in the game. Well, it's not unfamiliar. I mean, Kylie has played in big games in high school, and what she did today is definitely familiar for what she's capable of doing. But Kylie is kind of one of those that just kind of like hangs in the back, and then when you call her name, she kind of puts her cape on. So we're working at her kind of showing up and being that consistently and not waiting until something's going bad or going wrong in order to step in that position. So, I mean, she showed us a lot today, and it's what we have been talking about with her a lot. But now that she's shown everybody, it's what we expect. And she kind of like let the cat out of the bag a little bit. So, you know, Kylie, you show this, and this is what we kind of expect from you, you know, game in and game out. And I definitely think that it, it's given her a lot of conf confidence just moving forward. Let it out a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A, a lot, lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. Um, I thought I did very well. I was kind of nervous. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I think I did very well. It was really nervous. Um, I tried to not like get in my head and think too much and just play basketball. But yeah. When did it kind of click in your head? Like, you know, it's my time to take over, and you know, kind of went on that streak there in the third quarter. Yeah. Um, I think it started when I made my three because I don't make threes. <laughs> So I knew if I make one, I, I, I'm going to have a good game. <laughs> How much confidence does this give you just going forward, you know, kind of seeing, all right, all right, yeah, I can hang at this level and I can put up these numbers? Um, yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence. Like Coach said, I just got to be consistent and uh, stay in the game and play hard all, all the minutes, yeah. Uh, Dom, yeah, Dom, and uh, Coach, uh, it wasn't – Oh, it's been great. You know, it's given given us a lot of confidence that um, she's back on the court. Yeah, I keep can't hear me. Check one. Okay. Um, yeah, it's been great. Uh, it's given us a lot of confidence that she's been back on the court. Um, not even just on the court during games, but in practice, she pushes the guards. Um, it's another style of play for our team. Um, and I'm really excited that she's back. You know, she's been out for two years, so she's really earned this moment um, to show what she can do on the court. Yeah. It's been a, a uphill battle. I mean, not very many pe players kind of go through the journey that Amadine has. And uh, she's had moments where she was like really, really low. So, I mean, I give credit not just to her, but our training staff and also her teammates and just continuing to kind of like pour positivity into her and work with her and be in the gym with her. I know that her and Joss are in the gym a lot together, just kind of like shooting and, and working out and just giving her like that extra push. And, you know, when she got the okay to kind of be in full practice, everybody rejoiced. And that's just something that you need, especially when you've gone through that process. So um, I'm, I'm proud of our family and the fact that we've supported her in the way, but also with Dean, she has 
great confidence like in herself my I guess message to her consistently is just to kind of like take her time is a process like two years is a very long time she gets so hard on herself about the things that she's not doing and just kind of not concentrating on just the small victories that she's having every day being able to practice and then be in the games but again you know it's a process and we support each other through all the ups and downs that we're going through and we'll continue to do that. Oh, I'm ecstatic for her. Um, I remember remember being a first year and having those big moments, and for her to have it this time, it's just amazing. You know, um, sometimes on the court when you see somebody else going off like that, you kind of have to step back and let them do what they're doing until they the other team can stop it. And they can OD, you couldn't stop it today. So shout out to Kylie. She did her thing today. Hopefully, she keeps it up. <laughs> but yeah. Well, we're a defensive team. It's what we're rooted in. And sometimes we forget about that, especially when we're kind of making shots or things are like opening up. Then we kind of get fixated on our offense. But who we are, our personality, our defense, I mean, our identity is rooted in our defense. And we showed that in the second half. I mean, we were slowly kind of getting back into it offensively, especially with Kylie's charge. But our defense is also what help us, helped us win this game. I mean, Kylie kind of put us on our back, and she was scoring for us. But us getting stops over and over and over again, I can't remember the number that we got in a row. But that allowed us to get back into the game. I mean, with a team like that, especially when you're going to two of your players the way that they do. I mean, they have their green light and their volume shooters is that you hope to be able to kind of slow one of them down. It's almost impossible to be able to stop two. And if you do that, you've done an incredible job. But just kind of having one of them having a game that they're used to having is something that played into our favor. Well, one of the things about Joss is that in everything that she d does, she's very kind of like even kill. So even though like on the inside, she's probably going crazy, like what she shows you is poise. And it's a shot that she's made before in the past. And it's something, it's a, it's a situation that I know she's going to pa not panic in. And right now she's our best three point shooter and we needed a three point shot. So we all knew that it was kind of going to her, but the plan was for, us to make everybody else think that it was going to someone else, and that's why she was open. Yeah. Any last questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Go Hoos. Ciao.